Hi. As uh, you might know, I'm addicted to um, create piano sounds and synthetic piano sounds and synthetic acoustic sounds. And I don't know, somehow they feel more organic and I like, and, and it's a challenge. I like to do this kind of stuff. And I already had a piano uh, patch which sounds like this. But uh, this is a pretty nice patch and I, I, I like it. And it works pretty well, but um, I can't get a harsh, harsher piano sound with these nice transients. And um, yeah, today I got um, some progress and And this patch is less noisy and uh, can get right. And actually it's not too complicated because this part is only the uh, uh, hammer envelope. So this is where we create uh, signal like this yeah this should be fine and I like this somewhere where it won't make anything uh, wrong like here so if we take a look so this is what this part creates this this hit and that's that that's a good thing and then we send the white noise. So the, this envelope controls just the white noise, which uh, sounds something like this. Let me plug this here. And maybe yeah, like this, maybe. And um, yeah, I will plug it there. So yeah, this part does that. And uh, we can shape it sound with uh, several filters that will sound like this. And then we can shape this further with another filter. And actually, they, these noises sound so identical. And then the signal goes into the strings. It's every bit, uh, every tweak is important. They, they change the sound drastically. So it, it, it is, is crazy. I I wouldn't even imagine this. And uh, so this signal that we hear now, this is the input of the strings. And the strings sound like I use this episode put here. Out of the that noise, these three designers create this sound and it's like uh, a carpus strong patch but uh, here is the delay I don't know if you are familiar with the carpus strong patch it's really nothing too fancy it's it's a delay where you add the output of the delay to the input so if this is the input, then this is going to be the output. And if you plug this back and use some uh, kind of um, some value for the feedback, then you have a carpal strong end. And on a piano, if you have the gate pressed, then this is uh, a high value, like almost one. And if you let it go, then it, it's like 
0.82 and uh, the delay time uh, is responsible for the pitch and uh, the thing that that you see here is basically the same we have a delay and it goes like this and comes back here and goes into the uh, and it gets mixed to the input and this is the calculation of the delay time it's pretty simple we get the pitch and we convert it to milliseconds and and then we have it that's not too fancy we have a one pole filter here for dampening so it's like this if i put a one pole filter there then then we are fine. This is the dampening, uh, which is whenever one loop like this happens, then we lose some high uh, frequencies, and that's nice because uh, on every hit, the waves are slowing down and they lose their the, the energy. And then we have a second order all pass filter here, and I just learned how it works, so I didn't know that I can build a second order all pass filter out of the state variable. And until now, but it's really easy. Um, you just add together the uh, high pass and the low pass outputs and multiply it by two and subtract it from the uh, input. So this happens here. And then I have a, another note here, which is a fancy way of making an all pass filter, but this is uh, responding to pitch. So this is a one pole all pass filter. The sound is equivalent to this without uh, delay time, but uh, this way I have control over the pitch and and this is a set, uh, zero delay feedback uh, all pass filter. This really just uh, adding the negative high pass to uh, low pass output of a one pole filter. So it's, it's again, nothing complicated. And this is what my string looks like. All the other stuff is just uh, for setting up these, the values of these notes, which is not easy at all, but uh, the string itself is not too complicated. And it sounds like this. And basically, this is my piano patch. And I hope that you like it. And yeah, it's always funny to, to build something out of nothing. <laughs> And yeah, uh, I have to be uh, honest, I have some reverb applied here because uh, you never hear a piano without a room. Even the piano has a body which which creates reflections and uh, and you are always in a room with acoustic instruments and they sound strange without it. So if I play this, play this note, it sounds okay. If I uh, remove the reverb, it, it gets somehow weak. So some reflections are, are needed. And uh, yeah, but sorry, this patch is not cleaned up yet, but I will do it. And probably this will be a preset in Alpha Forever again. And uh, we have a detune, detune knob. where we can detune the strings and um, in, if I, I turn this guy, then even the lower strings uh, have three strings. So they get detuned as well. If I'm here, then you can see that I'm not, I'm, I'm not removing the low strings. I just uh, make them like the same pitch. And I can detune wherever I want to. This is two octaves.
But this is my little piano patch. I hope you enjoy it, or I hope you like the sound of it. I have a sustain patch here that I removed because um, when the polyphony gets full, it, it starts to act crazy and I will have to look into it. But yeah, this is the current state of my piano and um, I hope you liked it. Happy noting. Bye-bye.